Hi everyone, welcome back to Grow Roots. Today we will be discussing how to tree form a limelight hydrangea. So here is my limelight hydrangea and I'm not quite sure what y'all can see right now. I'll bet all you can see are these lovely tulips that I have growing in the same container as I have my limelight hydrangea. However, I will show you a closer look at it. I do have this lovely guy right here and it is a limelight hydrangea that I propagated from my own large limelight hydrangea. And uh, while it was growing, I decided to prune it into a tree form shape or what they call a standard limelight hydrangea. Now, standard limelight hydrangeas are quite expensive if you buy them from the nursery. Some of them are $200 and up, depending on how big they are, depending on you know how tall they are and how mature they are. And I did not have that in my budget. That's something that I'm kind of known for is <laughs> I am a frugal gardener. So if I can do that on my own, I am definitely going to try. And so um, the story on this limelight hydrangea basically is that uh, from my regular limelight hydrangea, I noticed that it had, it had like, you know, made a shoot under the ground and then up started popping this new baby, basically. And so what I did that very first year that I noticed that is I dug up and I found the root that was shooting out that baby and I cut it and then I planted that little baby that had its own roots. I mean, the root grew this way and then the baby started growing up, but that baby started growing its own roots as well. And so I basically put that in a container all by itself for one season and I let just that one shoot start growing up. Now, I did have several other shoots that were trying to grow up with it. It was trying to be bushy. It was trying to have multiple shoots, but I didn't want that. I wanted that one standard trunk. And so I, that very first season that I was growing the propagated limelight hydrangea, I basically, I took away all of the other new shoots that the roots were sending up so that I only had this one shoot, this one base, um, and therefore that, that one year, I only got one flower. So it sent that one shoot up, I cut away all of the rest, and I had one flower, one shoot that entire time. Now I did need to get like a stick or a trellis. Um, I just popped a stick in there, a bamboo stick, and I kind of loosely attached it to that so that it would keep that one shoot up and I kept it there the entire season. So that was step one for forming a uh, standard hydrangea. Just for an entire season, y'all are only gonna be able to see one stick, okay? And uh, conversely, if you had done it differently, if you had only, if you had propagated a limelight hydrangea with just one of the cuttings, which I have also done in the past, then you would just want that one stick and you wouldn't want too many other branches except for at the very top um, to allow to happen that very first season. So you don't want any other branching. You want it to get as tall as it possibly can. You can have shoots coming out at the very top, but you don't want anything else other than that. And so that's the very first season. The second season, then you need to think about, okay, I have this one branch that has formed. Now I can allow some, um, some branches to form at the top but there's also leaf nodes all along right here and you do not want to allow any of the it will try to send out branches along all, the whole stem but you don't want that because you want you know this solid trunk so I, I did allow three let me show you those three Okay, here's a better view. Um, basically, that second year, I actually had four. So here is my my base right here, and it goes all the way down. It's honestly not the tallest standard hydrangea that you could possibly have. <laughs> However, it's what I got, so <laughs> I'm not complaining. But you can see this is where I cut it. I cut that that branch or I'm sorry I cut the bloom off at the end of its first season and you can see how thin it was at the end of its first season you can see how thick it's gotten this is its third season this year right 
Yes, I believe so. Maybe it's fourth, actually. Okay, and so the second season, I allowed four branches, basically here, 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 and then I had one right here, but this one broke off, and that's okay. But I had these three right there, and so I allowed those at the very top to branch out, and then I had flowers. Basically, I had three limelight flowers. Hold on. At the, at the end of each of these three branches, see? And so that was its second year. That's what I allowed to happen. And then its third year was last year, okay? And so what I did is at the very ends of these, well, okay, let me back up just a little bit. When I pruned at the end of the second year, I wanted this to be pretty, I wanted the new growth the next year to be pretty close to here for stabilization purposes. So I cut these, I probably could have cut them even smaller now thinking about it, to be quite honest, but I cut these pretty, you know, heavily. This is, I cut at least half of the branch off and then I didn't allow any of these stems on these nodes to form. I chose three locations on each stem that I allowed branches to come from the following year because I wanted this base to be stable. Like you can tell, it's it's pretty good now. It's pretty stable. So I allowed these two and I allowed one here. And the same for the other side. I allowed two and then one and then two and one there. So I had basically nine stems last year, um, which, you know, they were really, really, really tall and they looked absolutely beautiful. I'll, I'll, I'll post a picture up on the screen for y'all to see. And now it's its fourth year and I'm trying to decide the best way to prune this guy. Um, obviously I'm now I'm going to have branches coming from here and I don't want too many. I want this to be as sturdy as possible. And so making sure that that is a valid growth point that that it's going to actually be sending something out which it is it's green right now so what i'm probably going to be doing is following well this is the third node up but i think that's pretty safe there's one node here's two nodes which i don't see any growth coming from the first two nodes here at all i see growth and life happening at this third if i can get it to focus there you go. There we go. So I'm going to cut right here and I'm going to cut all of these possibilities off and that's okay because yeah, I even have some branches coming right here already, but that's okay. I want this to be strong and sturdy and so I'm going to be cutting it right here. I'm going to be looking for growth here and this node is a little bit swollen. I've definitely got life there though. Yeah. So I may even cut that one there and just, you know, I'm just looking at the nodes, making sure that the nodes are swollen and see, I might cut this one right here because this is the, the lowest one that I'm seeing growth on. And so I'm going to do that all around. What I need to decide though, is I've actually got growth beginning. If you can see right there on season two's stems. And I think I may allow this one and this one to grow because I did lose this one in the second season and it's kind of, it is slightly lopsided. <laughs> I do have these two coming out to kind of form, you know, branches on this side, but I do feel like it is a little bit lopsided. And I feel like if I allow maybe that one to grow because it's poking out that way and this one to grow because it's poking out that way, then I may, I may grow some stability here and some, you know, some branches here where I'm missing some branches. So I think I will allow those to grow. But again, I'm gonna come upon the third season's growth and I'm probably gonna cut right here. You know, just making sure that I have growth points that are valid that I know will send out shoots. And that's basically what I'm gonna do in its fourth season. The key to train, training a tree form hydrangea or limelight hydrangea, a standard limelight hydrangea, the key really is to form sturdiness upon the base. 
and you don't want a ton of growth you don't want a ton of uh, branches because it's going to make it not sturdy and you want the tree to be as sturdy as possible as it's as it's training on that single stem so that's the key i'm not really focusing on blooms i'm not really focusing on anything other than trying to get growth and for that growth to cut to be starting on very very sturdy stems and to keep that tree form shape Okay, so usually when you do this trimming, you want a good pair of pruners. I used mine this morning, just this morning. I have no idea what I did with them when I was done. So I'm just, I, I have a really good pair of scissors and I believe because these are not too thick of branches, it should work just fine. Um, so yeah, use your pruners, clean your pruners before you use them, which I have cleaned my scissors with, uh, sprayed it with rubbing alcohol and here we go. So here we go. Here is my tree formed limelight hydrangea after I am done with pruning. Uh, the one thing that I will say is I left what one, two, three, four nodes, four nodes on this guy because this was the first real growth that I saw. However, if I see growth coming from down here, I'm going to go ahead and, and get this down, you know, to the same level that I see the other branches. But you can see that looks so nice and so sturdy. And I do think I'm going to allow a couple of these shoots from here, like I said, to, to uh, balance things out a little bit. But I really do love the way that looks. And by the way, I really do love tulips planted around it for winter time <laughs> because, um, well, for the early, early spring, it just makes it look so beautiful when there's not really a whole lot of growth here yet. But um, I do still have it kind of on a, a bamboo pole for now. I just, it's a lot thicker and a lot sturdier than it was last year. And so I did remove a lot of the, I had a lot more of these ties and I only have one and it's very loosely wrapped around there, but I just want to make sure it's stable before I take it off. But there you have it. It's a beautiful tree formed limelight hydrangea that I have made on my own. It does take a few seasons y'all, but if you have some patience and you're able to wait that long and, and prune it properly, then you will have yourself a beautiful limelight hydrangea for free if you propagate it from an existing one. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. I'm happy to uh, see your questions and answer them. Or if you just have any great comments, then please let me know. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye, everybody.